Well, the Sounds of Atlanta Project is a collaboration between students in the School of Music and visual artists in the community. It's a way to go out and collect sounds about a particular area within the city of Atlanta. We've done five points, little five points, and now we're doing Georgia Tech. The students go out and collect sounds, and they bring those sounds back into our studios and create music out of those. In turn, we take that music and we give it to a visual artist, and they create a painting or a drawing that reflects that type of music. And the hope is we're going to install those back in the community so the community can experience the visual and the music. In this particular project, we're hoping the students get a sense of, number one, the sounds that happen around them, how to record those sounds, how to collect those, bring it into the studio, mix it, and create a new piece of music through that, and also get a chance to collaborate with well-known artists and musicians, um, such as KY Engineering. So we're excited about that. Georgia Tech Project, as itself, is we're hoping to convey a walk across campus. So someone that's familiar with the Georgia Tech campus, would their ear would perk up and that, I know that sound. And we're trying to take those sounds and create a piece of music that has a pulse and a beat and a groove. So you can nod your head to it a little bit as you're walking across campus and you'll still know where you are on the campus. The coolest part about doing this project, I would have to say, is really coming together with different individuals and seeing how they make music. I have my particular friend that I kind of put on, and then these other three, four individuals, they come in with their own stamp, and then we're all trying to come together to make one piece that kind of presents different aspects, because we're all different students, we're all in different majors, we all have a different sounds that we hear each and every day. So for us all to come, to, come together and really give what it's like to really be on campus leads from an audio point. I think that's really cool. The students in this class are all musicians. They're all trained in some type of music. They might be classical musician, a rock musician, a jazz musician, uh, but they're from different disciplines across campus. So none of them are music majors except for one of our graduate students in music technology. So it's nice to get their take on what we're doing too. So I picked the sound based upon the Campus Recreation Center. It's a place where um, all of our students come together to really, you know, release some stress physically. I work there, I go there all the time. So I really wanted to put that stamp on to this sound because to me, that is a huge part of this campus. We're a very healthy lifestyle type of campus. And so a lot of people go there, a lot of people know the sounds there. And so I really wanted to make sure that that had its own feature part in this track. Also, like hearing the whistle and stuff like that, I hear that every single day of the class. So I just really wanted to put things that make me a Georgia Tech student into the track. Some of the technical difficulties we faced were that in recording all these sounds on location, there is varying sound quality where you just have this little recorder, maybe you're at a basketball game, you're not gonna get a studio quality recording necessarily. So taking these things and trying to make them into a cohesive professional sounding song can be a little difficult. I was working more on uh, taking the sounds and arranging them into a song from these different loops and samples that people had created. And drop the cursor where you want it and hit. Yeah, these actually didn't move right. They're not together, are they? No. Yeah. I did like a rough ending because I got some uh, basketball game sounds. So what I want from this project is to really give honor to Georgia Tech. I want students to hear it and I want them to hear the stress 
that's involved in this everyday lifestyle. I wanted them to hear those little sounds that are like relief, like, okay, the bell is rung, I can get out of class, you know. I want people to really come together and really see what it's like to be a student here. And even though, you know, there can be a lot of negatives, I want people to really see the beauty that comes from being a Georgia Tech student, that we are our own brand, that there is only one Georgia Tech. And I want people to be able to reflect upon it even after they've graduated and gone their separate ways. I guess I feel like um, it would be easy to start trying to make it sound not too nerdy or something when the reality of Georgia Tech is that it's pretty nerdy. I want it to be authentic Georgia Tech. Process is we're gonna of course you know go out and collect the sounds which we did it was it was super hot <laughs> but um, my job is to collect the sounds and also in the studio with the students mixing the track EQing stuff putting reverb putting delay uh, anything that we can do to make the track sound better just by hearing something you can understand that oh I'm in this neighborhood because different neighborhoods around Atlanta have different sounds we started in little five points which is kind of more of a uh, Oh, I guess I want to say a hippie area. It's kind of real eclectic over there. And so you're going to get a lot of skateboards and street music and just di different types of stuff like that. We got a lot of percussion sounds, bangs, and uh, clashes that we got uh, from like doors and windows and radiators and that sort of thing. And then got a couple of more tonal sounds from like bowls and bells and that sort of thing. Just trying to go capture these different spacious and just kind of meditative sounds. But this project has taught me a lot in like editing sounds and trying to go change the sounds. Something different, for one, especially for me when I do music, because uh, mostly I do hip hop. So I just think that it's something fun and something different that we could get into and, you know, just learn it. It's my first time actually going in the field and getting sounds and stuff like that, which actually I'll probably end up taking back to the music that I actually do when I'm mixing, because, you know, just to have that kind of vibe, like it might be a sound that I can maybe just actually go out and record and actually put it into a real song. I've been doing some field recording for, for my music and composition for many years, so I felt like this was just a good opportunity to record some new sounds in a new city. It's actually been pretty difficult, I think, to come up with compositions that I feel are meaningful. For example, with Buckhead, I'm trying to make something that's more of a soundscape and trying something to, sort of new, um, whereas with Little Five Points, it was more of a, a song that was rhythmic and driving. So I think a lot of times we were taking objects and banging them, exciting them, make a, some kind of sound. And this was a totally new approach to exploring the city. In Buckhead, I had never been there before. Uh, so I was, a few of the spots, I found some abandoned kind of buildings uh, underneath some highways were some places I found really good sounds. Um, I also went to the Lenox Mall, a few churches around. So it was just mostly good to explore these these different sites. I guess it's it's sort of, it doesn't have that sort of community that Little Five Points has, so I'm trying to capture that. I was I was going out in Buckhead at night, um, and it was very still, um, and there were certain points where I would just stop and listen and have the recorder out, and everything would go silent, and I could only hear these sort of minute frequencies, cars in the distance, um, cars passing overhead, these high, sort of high frequencies, and I was able to capture that and was, would get really excited. Um, and I thought that was very much the epitome of the project, uh, to sort of listen to your surroundings and take that moment where everything else sort of goes away. In Five Points, you can really feel 
all different aspects of Atlanta coming together. If you're on MARTA, you, you could be arriving in Five Points and going to do all sorts of things. Um, there are some people there that are just hanging out for the day. Uh, some people are there for the shopping. Just capturing the ambiance of Five Points was kind of a goal for this track. Since I wanted to actually create an independent composition and then kind of infuse the ambiance from Five Points into there. A found sound will be one of the sounds that we're getting when we're going around and recording things around Atlanta. So for the little Five Points track, almost every sound in that song is a found sound, but that, that gave it not so much of a contemporary feel. It sounds a little bit more artistic and maintains the feel of Little Five, but it limited my freedom as a composer. So in Big Five Points, I, I, I don't want to be so much limited by the found sounds, but I definitely wanted to include them and have something that was still reminiscent of Five Points. And so I went ahead and composed a song that was kind of the way I wanted it to be, and then infused the found sounds from Five Points into there. With the Five Points track, I was hoping that it would be something that people would want to listen to, and that's partially why I didn't go so heavy on the found sounds with it. I tried to give it a more contemporary, modern type feel. The Five Points track is really split into two sections, and it's a high energy section and a low energy section. The high energy section really has very few found sounds in it, but the low energy sections are very, very heavy use of found sounds, but they're not necessarily musical so much as textural. For example, the scene of the, the mall in, at Underground Atlanta, and I was just walking through there with a recorder, and if I heard an interesting sound, I would kind of walk closer to it. And so what I did was I picked out the interesting parts of that and layered up a big texture that took all the interesting sounds from the mall and kind of gave you little bits of ear candy during the low energy sections of the song. The low energy parts are the parts that really represent five points, and then the high energy parts I kind of picture as whatever people are doing when they leave there. So I tried to capture the ambiance of as people were going through five points or spending a few minutes during their day there.